Now I request uh, Air Marshal Dave Saab to uh, yeah, share his thoughts. Yeah. No, this is fine. Firstly, I don't know why I'm here, but I want to thank Ashok because I am uh, MSc from Madras University in Strategic Studies, barely passed my South College. That's why I got that degree. I'm also from JNU, but I don't like to mention it now. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I will go part. Oh, uh, they, they might say that it's you know uh, uh, violation of service rules, and they might piss off on the service. That's only reason. Just waiting to retire. Just waiting to retire. Okay, okay. I, I'll start with what he said first. I couldn't agree with you more. I'll just give you my example. Okay, when my job was at stake as a group captain, we had a balloon going up in uh, Barnala, and uh, my CNC came there. Uh, then after he, a chief marshal Tiagi, he said, "Shirish, we had a weather radar." first weather radar in the Air Force and um, a UHF um, a wind sensor. This piece of equipment uh, was very useful because you could see whether it put 300 kilometers. So why don't you put it on the net, on the WC net? I said it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, so we bought this software, uh, this screen sharing software and we put it on the WC net. So he had a look at it and he was very happy. He said, so Shirish, now you do one thing, now you put that uh, radar picture also on the net. And uh, I was a young group captain, and when a group captain is speaking to CNC, you know, that is always there's some uh, ideas don't get communicated very efficiently. So before I could reply, I said, I will have a look at it, he had walked away. Okay. And then I also didn't think much of it. And there was a big Air Force level exercise coming up. And in this Air Force level exercise, about you know, 100 uh, aircraft from one uh, place and all the 100 from another place, they were getting airborne and they were mixing around. And without this balloon, without this aerostat radar, it was impossible to control those aircraft. And uh, as uh, I was blissfully unaware of all these plans of the Air Force, till the time I was called to Air Headquarters once, and I said, hey, uh, so tell me how this is going to be done by WSC. So I said, what, sir? He said, this is a live wire exercise. You know, that time we used to call it Gagan Shakti. Okay. And uh, I told him, sir, uh, so what's my role, sir? He said, no, your role is this, that you, you will be conducting the exercise from one part and we will get MFCR from DRD and we will put it on the other side and there will be this, all this aircraft mingling around. I got a shock of my life. I ran back, I called up this woman project direct from Rafael called Anath Kuznet. I said, Anath, when, are this, when I'm getting more workstations? She said, they will come, don't worry, you will get six more workstations. They're all in the pipeline. And I was not at all familiar with how ministry works. The end shot was that 15 days later she told me the ministry is not clearing this some um, six and a half million dollars for his workstations and the integration of workstations. So the workstations will take a long time to come and there was only one workstation. By that time the CNC had become chief and he had said, no, don't worry, Bernala is doing it. But nobody could go back to her. And sure, I was very sure that that's, I'm going to retire as a group captain. So we started, you know, We'll see, we'll make it ourselves. I told another person, if you don't give it, we'll make it ourselves. She started laughing. She said, Colonel, you can, you know, everybody is Colonel for them. Okay, you know what a big deal it is to make a software tool for a workstation. So I started generating on Aspects format, the former tool on Aspects format, did everything that we could. We bribed some people and we told them, okay, where is the port available from where we can pick up from the stretch. And then all I needed was a person who could code in C. There was a professor about 40 kilometers away from Barnala teaching him on uh, uh, in, in, in engineering college. I called him, I brought him to Barnala. I said, I'll give you 500 rupees a day. Okay, can you quote this? Okay. He worked for some time. He couldn't understand North Sink and this thing and you know, and he didn't understand you know, how aircraft fly and things like that. So he said, it is too much, you know, I bowed down there, many cuts after. I was very disappointed. I had two fighter controllers who were very good with visual basic. Okay. So I got them and we broke into the code of uh, one company, I won't mention, I don't have too much of time for that company. And uh, we managed to get the data from our radar, PhD radar, not the balloon radar. And we started displaying it on visual basic on Windows platform. But it was giving a lot of problem with networking, all kind of different, nobody understood Windows that time because we didn't understand. And we found that after five, five ten minutes of running, it would choke up and the network won't work. 
So uh, I was very disappointed and I spoke to one uh, person. I said, what can we do? He said, it will cost you minimum, you know, 30, 40 lakhs, okay, to get this thing going. I said, fine. So now my thought was on how to generate this 30, 40 lakhs. I spoke to one officer. So I asked him, yeah, is there any, is, don't you have any people who can write code in C and understand, uh, you know, uh, how pictures should be displayed and things like that? He said, no, sir. We don't have anybody. His wife was standing next to him. She said, but I can do it. So I said, so he told me, sir, he, she also studied in the same college as me and things like that. So I asked him, you know, what are you doing? He said, no, I work for Bajaj. Okay, I mean, uh, I have developed expert systems for them. And C coding should be a problem, sir. So I said, what are you doing now? He said, I'm teaching in NIT. So she came. Okay. And rest, I want to tell you, we spent 10,000 rupees, some software that you wanted, no man, okay, now I've forgotten this many years back. And uh, we had a software running, and the software was running as of three years back. We call it RDS. It picked up data from all the radars which had digital output. The exercise was flown on our, we made eight workstations. Okay, these eight workstations, people during the exercise, people would come running, the controllers would come running so that they could occupy my workstations first. And the two workstations with the, which Israelis have given us, they would all invariably freeze over and there would be some, always some problem, they are not so user friendly. Okay, and the last two to get in would go to those workstations. I think you need okay, and how much? Yes, and how much did we spend? <laughs> 10,000 rupees. <laughs> 10,000 10, rupees, minimal. Uh, yeah. So, uh, minimal, of course, uh, uh, she had a natural flair for coding, writing an elegant code. code. Anybody can write, even I can even make so much, but I can write some code. But writing an elegant code, a clean code, okay, well commented code, anybody. So, that was all that was needed. Um, so, what I feel, I, I agree with them that innovation is a disease. Okay. If you are not affected with disease, then don't do anything. Just do whatever you want to do routinely. Okay. You can't be reasonable when it comes to innovation. If you are not possessed, okay, there is no innovation. Okay. One problem that we have in our industry, okay, uh, is that I, I find that most of the entrepreneurs haven't served. That is a big problem. If you haven't served, Okay, then domain knowledge is scarce. And unfortunately, what is happening that people who join the industry are not recognized for their domain knowledge. You know, uh, General Carl Jumper, I'll paraphrase him. Okay. There was a meeting of all the scientists from Tarpa, Mitre, and all those guys, they were all here. And General Jumper was supposed to be an innovator. Okay. He was supposed to be a thinking man's general. He is a thinking man, General. Sorry, he's still there with us. So, uh, what he told them, of course, that some of all wisdom, some of everything that you're doing here for the defense, is cursor on target. That inspired the scientific community, the entrepreneurs there so much that they now the software is called COTS, cursor on target systems. Okay, and what it does is exactly what. Uh, Dr. Vidya Sakar once done, it picks up all the sensors and gets them to talk on a common platform. Okay, so unless we have this, okay, it is difficult to put your weapons on target accurately in time and again. Because let's face it, in this business, that is all that matters. The rest is all hogwash. Why am I wearing a uniform? Why are you spending so much on me? Eventually, it's that weapon on target. And this domain knowledge, unfortunately, is absent. So people from the forces, you know, hardcore infantry, and who knows everything about what a soldier has been involved in so many encounters, instead of using him to design a weapon, instead of using him to design a soldier system, he has been used to, to organize meetings. Come on. You, I, I beg your pardon, sir? No, no. <laughs> okay. So, 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 so these are the guys. Okay, they must be used for their expertise. You go to Israel. Okay, you ask the person who is driving a 
a particular project, what is it that you do? So I thought, yeah, 60. What is that you do? So actually, I'm a medic, but I'm a, you know, I'm looking after, I'm de developing a system that, you know, stems the blood flow in case of a gunshot wound. He's a medic. Is it any wonder that such a small country has developed so much and is selling so much? It's only because people who are actually fighting, people who are actually, they know what is required. Those are the guys who are doing work. You see what happens in IIT. In IIT, okay, one of the professors that I was talking to, a dear friend of ours, you know, he pointed this is like a bright chap, you know, and he told me in Marathi that uh, this chap, while he is bright, he has got a commercial mindset. Okay? What does he want? In Technion, before you take up a project, you, you, you first they ask you, is that there's got any relevance? If you are going to discover gravity waves, that's fine. That also requires to be done. If you are designing a large hadron collider, fine. That also requires to be done. But here, all these things are simple. I refuse to believe that there is any research. Okay, any research that had to be done, particularly in aviation, was done by the Germans long time back. You're only, you know, every time you do something new, you find okay, German somebody had already done something. It is plain engineering, it's not research. Let's not get carried away that I'm doing research and we're doing this and doing that. Yes, there is IP that is developed, of course, every time. But it is that IP is for process, like it was said, that IP is for a particular design. You know, uh, uh, anything that you want, I have a book, I refer to a book. That is an that is a 18th century book. All the designs on machines, Okay, all the designs on levers, all the de designs on cans, all are given in that book. Any time you wonder how this actuator will work and what will, you know, how this will do, everything is there in that book. To my mind, okay, in terms of this, just my, other than transistor and other, the only new research that has come up is that somebody has made a good ball bearing. Okay, recently in Japan. Somebody has made a ball bearing without a race, you know, without the race to hold the balls. Other than that, there's no research. Everything you have to good engineering, you have to keep doing things again and again. I opened up a old uh, old uh, turbo pump of a uh, Divina uh, Santu missile, and I saw a turbo pump in DRDO. Okay, of three. I couldn't make out what is the difference. So forget about research. Develop intellectual property by all means, but don't you know glorify innovation and research are different. Innovation is something that you need to do. You need to make a product. You need to innovate. If you need a product, and you put it there. My request to the industry is think big. Okay, think like Ed Karen. The reason why General Atomics is where it is, the reason why the Ethereum was bankrupt the second time. And that's how Predator came up. And now see what Predator is doing to, you know, the way we fight. You see, I, I see the equipment that we buy from Israel. Honest to God, just give me six months and give me 100 for what anybody in India would have spent. And that equipment can be available, you know, within six months, and it will meet all your specifications. It will meet, you know, anything that RCM and uh, semi like decide to do with it. You know, understanding eight one zero, understanding, you know, uh, vibration testing, GVT, it's not a big deal. The investment required to get what you want, you go to BL, you go, who does this testing? You go, and so what is it that you got that does this testing, and how much does it cost? Nothing. A large company comes and gives us a presentation and I had to say that uh, we want to put DRD out of business. I said that's a very noble thought. But you don't have what separates uncles from aunties to do that because you don't want to put a single pie there. First you say that I want a contract more than 200 crores and first you say that I will sign the contract, give me the money and then I'll start working on it. Please. 
Okay. Uh, that I think we are we, we're going to worship our time. I just want to uh, thank Ashok because I feel that these gatherings are so important. I had a problem with data linking. I had a problem with how to go beyond line of sight. And Vidya Sagar tells me that he solved this. We can solve this problem. So, so see, this, this is extremely important to interact laterally and uh, extremely important uh, not to make things more complex than they are already. Okay, and whatever you're passionate about, whatever you're interested about, cannot be complex. Okay, and with that basic premise, okay, just go ahead, make systems, make products, and put it to the ministry.